We stayed in the Ritz-Carlton Philadelphia, adjacently located across from Philadelphia City Hall. It's a great choice for a comfortable and upscale stay in the city. Time to start exploring Philadelphia on foot. We started with iconic landmarks from Philadelphia City Hall, JFK Plaza or Love Park and Pennsylvania Railroad Suburban Station. We enjoyed the stroll and soaking in the city's rich history and culture. Trying a Philly cheesesteak is a must-do while you're in Philadelphia. Yummy! Journey continues to Sister Cities Park, a lovely spot in Philadelphia, known for its splash pad, which is perfect for cooling off on a warm day like today, and it also offers areas for sunbathing and relaxation. It's a great place to unwind and enjoy some outdoor time in the city. It was a really hot day so we went to the Parkway Central Library to cool down. It's a beautiful and historic building with a welcoming atmosphere. We ended up exploring an exhibition, browsing books and simply enjoying the air conditioning. It's a great way to beat the heat while experiencing a cultural landmark in Philadelphia. We continued our tour to the Washington Monument Fountain, took a peek of the iconic Rocky statue and climbed up the Philadelphia Museum of Art steps. Climbing down offers a great view of the city skyline. For lunch, we had Indonesian food at the Sky Cafe. It was superb. We wanted to try riding the subway in Philly, so we ride it to our next destination. Stopping at Vanderwen Farm Creamery for ice cream. Their ice cream is known for its creamy texture and delicious flavors. Walking through the Alfred Sally Museum offers a fascinating glimpse into Philadelphia's history. As the oldest residential street in the United States, it's rich with colonial-era architecture and stories. Last stop of our journey, the Cherry Street Pier. It's a vibrant destination with art installations, food vendors, and stunning views of the Delaware River and Benjamin Franklin Bridge.